You're watching rxmuscle.com. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bill Kazmaier, and you're not. And you're watching rxmuscle.com. This is Dave Palumbo with rxmuscle.com. I am here at the 2012 Arnold Strongman, and I am here with Brian Hildebrand, the RX Muscle Strength Editor in Chief, and we're going to do a final wrap up of the Arnold Strongman event. Brian, another down to the end <laughs> nail biter. Who's going to win at the last minute? Derek Poundstone had the ability to pull this out as he did twice before in the past. It wasn't to be tonight. Mike Jenkins emerges victorious here today, and uh, which has got to be a tremendous, tremendous accolade in his hat because I don't think he ever expected to win here. Yeah, no, you got to remember two years ago, Mike came here and won the amateur in 2010, which gave him a pass to compete at the pro level last year. So he comes here last year, complete underdog. People didn't think he really deserved to be here, and he blows everybody out of the water and takes second place, winning a couple events along the way. Um, so Mike had a great off year, or off uh, year through 2011, and culminated that with a trip to World Strongest Man, made qualified for finals, won the first two events in finals against the ten best guys in the world, then has to pull out with a back injury. So he really, f I think he really felt he needed to really prove to everybody that he deserved to be here. Let, let's not forget also he's a bros versus pros champion as well, which I was told him was his greatest accolade before the win here tonight. Yeah, Mike, uh, when we had him out in Long Island, out of bros versus pros, six, I think. Pulled the truck. Pulled the big truck and, uh, yeah, blew everybody out of the water. That you was... barely beat Aaron Singerman, right? Yeah, well, yeah, but Aaron was using a, a tow truck to pull the truck, so That's it didn't right. really count. Uh, let's talk, let's go take a step back for a minute because this, this is, how many events is the strongman here at the Arnold? Well, this is the 11th year that they've done it and they have five events um, and every year they, have, they do two events, one day, two the next, and then that evening they do a third event in front of uh, the, the bodybuilding finals at, at the Veterans Memorial. Mark Henry uh, from WWE fame, of course, was the very first champion and he was in the house and I got a great interview with him this weekend. Um, and then Sadruna Savickas, who's been here nine times, has won six. After that, you had Derek Poundstone. Derek missed 2011. Brian came in, won that, and now Mike Jenkins. So we have five winners over 11 years, and we had all five winners in the house, actually, over the weekend. And all of them competed except for Mark Henry. Except for Mark Henry. And Mark's actually talked to my, talked with him. He says, yeah, I'm kind of thinking about maybe maybe after this WWE thing, giving it one more you try. You think he'd come back, Mark Henry? Uh, you know, he's the kind of guy that he's got the physical prowess, and he's certainly got the mental aptitude to do it. I don't know if he's got the endurance at this point. Point in time. He's not. A, I don't think he's a young man anymore. Is he? No, he's no. He's he's our age. Yeah, he's in the forties. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about um, the events because the first event, which was what again? It's called the Aplons Wheel, and it's a it's a replica of an old old strongman implement um, that is a, essentially it's a very thick thick round bar with heavy wheels attached to it but it doesn't like a typical bar we have in the gym it doesn't rotate on the ends it's all one solid piece so when you go to lift it up it its momentum continues to rotate in your hands versus rotating over the bearings in the bar. Now the interesting thing is that Brian Shaw the defending not only Arnold strongman champion but the world strongest man he's the only Correct. man to win both of these events on the same year. Correct. He hurt his bicep yeah. on this event. Tell me what happened. Well, the Aplon's wheel is around 460 pounds. It's a big, beastly thing. And the object was to pick it up from the ground and just to get it into a clean position. And it's a very unique way that they do that. And we'll run some videos so you can see how they actually bring the bar up to their chest. Well, the problem is that you want, they use what's called a continental-style lift. And that means that you have one hand over and one hand under. And in that position, you really put a lot of stress on your bicep. And uh, I, what it appears to be now is that he has a Jay Cutler type, what I call a Jay Cutler type bicep injury. It's a distal tear. Yeah, it's the distal outer head versus the short head. The short head is real common to tear in strongman. I've torn both mine. A lot of guys competing now have torn them, repaired them, and come back successfully. Brian has a little bit different injury, so it's going to be interesting to see. I talk More of a him. cosmetic tear from what I understand, the distal tear. It's not a very functional muscle. Well, I don't know. In, in the strongman it might be, I think it's I think it's a stability. Right, from a stability standpoint in the joint, I think it's, it's probably a little bit bigger deal. He has an, he has an MRI schedule for Monday. And he did all the events with that torn bicep. That's almost incredible. And he was in second place, and he had a chance to win it. Yeah, he 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 was determined. He said when I when we talked with him on Thursday, he says, you know, this is the best I've ever been. This is the best I've ever looked, um, the best I've ever felt, and I'm just confident going into this. And tonight, when I talked to him afterwards, you know, he he. He increased the injury in his injury tonight, or increased his injury tonight, with uh, the last event that we did, and um, he hurt himself even further. And so he's, you know, he's pretty dejected. And when I talked to him, he just, 
He simply knows that he has something better to bring, and um, that's going to be his focus. Who won the apple in the lift? Uh, Zadrunas won, sorry, yeah, Zadrunas Ivica's won the first event um, handily. He, he's an incredible Olympic lifter and arguably the strongest man that's ever walked the face of the planet. And that comes from Bill Kazmaier, which is saying a lot. Um, he doesn't look, uh, Zadrunas Ivica does not look like a strong man. He looks like a farmer, really. And uh, I was actually shocked to see him in person uh, because you, he's very, uh, I guess you could say, uh, you can greatly underestimate him. Yeah, he's 6'4", 440 pounds. He's, he doesn't look like your typical quote-unquote athlete. Mm. Brutally powerful though, and, and a guy that you just can't ever underestimate. He's won here six times, so I mean, that that, that alone tells you that, that he's the real deal. What was the second event? Second event was the, the dumbbell press, which was what they finished with last year. That was a fifth event right. last year. was the dumbbell press overhead. This year they increased the weight up to 256 pounds. Huge beastly implement. Mike Jenkins comes out of the gate, and we expected Mike to do well. We expected Brian Shaw to do well, but because of his injury, had difficulty shouldering and just lost confidence going through it. And only How many reps did Jenkins do? Uh, well, Jenkins came in and just knocked him down one after another. They had 90 seconds, and Mike took down seven, winning the event handily. Uh, the next closest was uh, Zadrunas with five. So um, Derek Pounson, this is usually his best event, and he uh, only was able to muster three, I understand. Yeah, I talked with him beforehand, and Kristen said, yeah, he'll get six, not a problem. Derek's like, I'll get two one hand, two the other, and I'll switch back and forth try and get six and he wound up with four. He came up a little short. Oh, he did four. What was the third event, Brian? Third event today uh, is the a new event that they've not done. And it's something else to preface, they've set five world records this weekend, which is unheard of in five events. They had two logs. They had this big beastly thing, weighed 460 pounds. It was in a rack that was adjustable where the athlete gets underneath it, a neutral grip, sets it up to their chest, and then just presses it above their head, really without any clean or any momentum whatsoever. And who, ha who was the guy who emerges victorious in this particular lift? Well, what was interesting, well, there was only two guys to get the heavy logs. Adrena Savickas was the first one about midway through the group, and he got one. Mike Jenkins comes up, gets two, walks away because he doesn't need to do more. He had time. He had so he won the event easily then? Yeah, he had another minute on the clock and could have got an another one or two, but he didn't need any more, so he walked away. Interesting. So Jenkins did get a f several victories. Now, what I've noticed so far is I have not heard Derek Poundstone's name winning any events, which is interesting because he is still he was still in the second spot come the last event. What was the fourth event? Fourth event was the, the, the classic Arnold uh, Hummer tire deadlift. Um, 14 foot bar, Hummer, uh, H1 Hummer uh, tires and wheels. They start off with three increased weights as the athletes like to get three attempts to lift. Um, Brian Shaw is always a big favorite, but Zdruna Savic is arguably one of the greatest deadlifters of all time. Um, pulled 1,117 pounds today um, to beat Brian Shaw. Now, Brian Shaw w was kind of, everybody enjoyed it because he got a bloody nose on his first, his second, and his third heard, lift. Yeah. In his third lift, he went, uh, I think, 1,067 and uh, had blood streaming down the front of him. And it was fun because he jumped out in front of the audience and pointed his bicep. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. I will not be defeated. So even at that stage, of the game, he was that confident. Going into the final event, which was up on the Arnold stage at the uh, night show of the men's bodybuilding, we had a two-way. We had uh, Mike. Uh, excuse me. We had Zdrunas Zavikas in the lead uh, two with, by two and a half points, with a three-way tie for second with Derek Poundstone, Mike Jenkins, and Brian Shaw, the defending champion. Right. It was super exciting. They had to lift a 850-pound frame up a 30-foot ramp and uh, whoever did it the fastest would obviously emerge victorious. Now there was some mathematics involved. Uh, when all was said and done, uh, it really came down to a Derek Poundstone versus Mike Jenkins uh, finale, and we all know that Derek Poundstone loves to pr perform under pressure. Right. He had his fate in his own hands, he knew what the time he had to beat, and he fell a couple hundredths of a second short. How exciting was it for you as a, as a professional strongman yourself to, to watch this? Well, you know, it was really interesting because the Drunas Savickas, this implement, is, it's, called a, it's, called a, uh, it's called a frame carry, and it's a big timber-laden thing with neutral grip handles, you pick it up and you, you run up the ramp. The difficult part with it is that they use real small hands handles on this. And so guys like Zudrina Zavikas have got these massively thick calloused hands 
struggle to grip it. And Terry Holland's had the same issue, and several guys throughout the night had the same issue. And they weren't allowed to use straps this year, like they did with last year. But the difference was last year was at over 1,000 pounds, this year 850 pounds. Um, you know, Derek picked it up and ran it as clean as he could. Um, Mike Jenkins, Derek Poundstone, without a doubt, the two most athletic guys. The guys yeah, you can tell. Their, yeah, the guys, two most guys and nimble on their feet, and it was incredible to watch. Um, Mike was driven. We talked right before he went on stage, and I said, keep your head on you, head up, grip, run, and go. And that's exactly what he did. He and actually looked like he did it a lot faster than Derek. I was surprised Derek did it as fast as he did because he looked like he was struggling with it, but I think he told me his hands are not that big. He also has the thick, tight hands, right. but he said he's one of the strongest grippers right. in the sport, so that obviously helped him. Right, right. And, and Mike Jenkins is right there, too. He's got an incredible grip. And he's Mike's you know, a little bit younger than Derek, and so he doesn't have the big, thick hands that have developed yet. So yeah. for him, this wasn't an issue. And when Zavikas got under the thing, he, he looked... I don't know if it was his weight, because he's very heavy. He's, he's, he's right. fat, too. I mean, he's strong, but he's fat. Right. Did you, I mean, having done this event yourself, is, is being overweight a little bit a disadvantage? It might be an advantage for strength, but when you have to run up a 30-foot ramp, I would imagine it's not going to help you. Yeah, right. And, there, and if you look at if you compare World's Strongest Man to the Arnold Strongman Classic, the two big things that stand out, World's Strongest Man, they have a lot more athletic events, loading lists, where you've got to pick something up, run, drop it off, come back, and get something else, and back and forth. And you see these kinds of events. So there's a, there's a cardio component to it. There's an athleticism component to it. Well, here at the Arnold Strongman, it is about brute power and brute strength, but except for this event. This event right. And so, you know, absolutely, guys like Zadrino Savickas are at a disadvantage from a cardio standpoint. Um, Travis Ortmeyer, he struggled with his grip tonight, and he's certainly a super athletic guy. Well, Poundstone falls very short here. I know it's got to hurt. He did, wins no events, but he still finishes a strong second here. Mike Jenkins, we got to take our hat off to him, former Bros vs. Pros champion. He wins the event here tonight, becomes the sixth Arnold Strongman champion. Zadrunas Zavikas, who is, the, who is going into the uh, event as the, uh, the title holder, he finishes in third here tonight. And uh, from what Derek Poundstone tells me, we're going to have a Bros vs. Pros at his gym. And I think we're going to try to get Mike Jenkins down there to deadlift against not only Derek Poundstone, but against Mark Lurch as well. Yeah, we, uh, my, uh, Mike and Derek, uh, they've turned in actually some good camaraderie there. Mm -hmm. And their gyms aren't that far and f far from one another. Mike's in uh, in the PA area. Right. So, uh, yeah, we're, it's going to be a lot of fun. And Derek tells me that he wants to turn it into more than just a bros versus pros. He really wants to make this a big, big full event. Full powerlifting meet. Yeah, a full powerlifting meet, plus the take Derek Poundstone on and the one rep max challenge. And somebody like Mike Jenkins may uh, be the guy to do and that. Derek wants to try to get three guys in the same meet to bench press raw 600 pounds. Yeah, and there's in the, in the Northeast, where you up on Long Island, there are a number of guys that, that could certainly make that happen. Well, for RxMuscle.com, I'm Dave Palumbo with Brian Hildebrand saying we'll see you at the Olympia Strongman in September 2012. RxMuscle.com.